reading for June. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I love doing uh, Aquarius, your sign. That didn't sound right, right? I love doing Aquarius. I love doing the your readings. I love doing your readings, Aquarius. I don't think... Oh, yes, I do now. I have one very good friend who is an Aquarius. And uh, my father was an Aquarius as well. And I say was because my father passed away when I was very young. I was four years old. So he was an Aquarius. And I believe those are the only two Aquariuses that I, that I, um, that I know. So let's see. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is your love reading, Aquarius. Sun, moon, and rising in Aquarius. This is your love reading. The first card represents your love life. Let's see. What's happening? What's going on? What is coming towards you? What is unfolding this June in love, Aquarius? Let's see. I'm going to shuffle three more times and we're going to get started, Aquarius. Two more times. Let's see. There's a link down below, Aquarius, for those of you that are interested in a private reading. That link is going to take you directly to my booking page for those of you that are interested in a private reading with me. So, let's get started. We have the Hermit. This is Virgo. So, this is your love life right now. So, uh, for some of you. So... <laughs> I heard crickets. <laughs> I heard crickets. So for some of you, there might be a whole lot of silence right now, right? Uh, no communication, separation, but uh, like purposely, right? Uh, not having this communication, right? Uh, not getting information. Also wanting to get, wanting to uncover, wondering with this hermit. That's what I'm getting. I'm going to clarify. Being secluded out in the woods, right? You're in a cabin. <laughs> You're taking a break. <laughs> we have the two of cups. This is love. So you see, it's like looking for love. Where's it at? For many of you, stumbling upon this two of cups perhaps not even trying to right that's the hermit the hermit never knows what uh, he she is going to uh, stumble upon right i feel like i have uh, hair on my face it's really it's tickling my face and then we have the three of pentacles for some of you you might have found love at work for a selective few let's see others of you you are seeking cooperation right that is why we have this hermit here and uh, this two of cups three of pentacles cooperation in love but uh, well for some of you you could feel like you are in this alone the hermit we'll see this is your love life Something to make note of. Something to make note of, Aquarius. Let's see. Something to make note of, Aquarius. We have the Sun card. Talks about enlightenment revelations happiness okay rosa represents leo let's get another card aquarius we have the empress look at that the empress is taurus the empress is libra there could be a libra or taurus here of significance that uh for many of you, could have just appeared magically, again, unexpectedly. 
uncovering right these feelings these emotions and uh, perhaps being taken aback right by these strong feelings the Sun card very powerful very positive card right next to it the Empress represents uh, abundance this is potential represents the mother as well so birthing right it's a new beginning that uh, well promises great things let's see good what's happening right now what's happening right now For others of you, there could even be like, uh, I'm, I'm hearing pregnancy, okay? There could be a baby on the way. The soil is fertile with the Empress. Let's see. What's happening? What's happening right now? What's happening right now? We have the Three of Swords. So this is right now. This is, well, this is heartbreak, sorrow. Let's see. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So what did I say earlier? I said, uh, you know, for many of you, I feel like there is a work situation going on here. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Talks about work talks about uh, well, putting in the effort, the time to perfect. The Eight of Pentacles is the small little things. Let's see. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. I don't know if you noticed, like in the beginning, I went back and forth from like a very good scenario to like a not so not so great one. I, this is what I was feeling. Eight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. Another thing that I just got. So this Hermit, right, stumbling upon something. Again, the Hermit doesn't know what he's going to find in the darkness, right? Revelation here. Two of Cups, for some of you, you could have found out, right, that, for example, your love interest, uh, your partner, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever this is, right, your love interest, has someone else. Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles. This can certainly, definitely be at work. And for others of you, there could be someone pregnant here, okay? Or uncovering, for example, that this person that, uh, well, you were in love with, for example, could be, could have children, right? Other children. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Nine of Swords. So this already is uh, being pained here emotionally, mentally. It's exhausting. It's eating at your head. This is receiving news, right? Swords represent air, communication, information that is painful. Devastating with the Nine of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you could still be trying to work things out. Eight of Pentacles, or again, this is attached to work in some way. For others of you, you could be thinking, how is this possible? How did this happen? That's what I'm hearing. The reason I say that is because, again, the Eight of Pentacles is 
the small little things you see how this person they have a hammer and uh, they're paying attention they're making gold right they're making coins so there is a need to pay attention to details some of you, you could be thinking how did I miss this also how how were they able right to to do this this is a very methodical person pays attention to everything every single little detail what is going to happen what is going to happen what's going to happen The other scenario here here that I'm getting guys and uh, as I'm looking at, at the cards and I stay silent it's like there's a movie playing in my head I'm a psychic medium I'm a highly sensitive empath and a tarot reader and uh, what I just saw here in my uh, what I just saw here as well is that uh, <clears throat> For many of you, there could you could be right involved already with this with this person right that you love, but uh, there is either a a person here that is still involved. For example, their ex right who happens and they happen to uh, share a child together. For example, right, so they're still in the picture in some way. And uh, there's something you got a hold of here and you're wondering now, like what is going to happen? Is this going to work out? The three of pentacles. For others of you, right? Uh, you found out some news some time ago, right? And uh, this news could have been, for example, pregnancy. And uh, the birth, right, could have just happened. This is very specific for those of you that I'm connecting with. And well, here comes, right, here comes the decisive moment perhaps that everyone's been waiting for. Like, is this going to change? Because a child changes everything, right? And once the baby is born, it's a completely different story right different circumstances especially so if for example your partner has you have not allowed them right for example to have any contact with this other person right well once a child gets involved well there's nothing you could do about that right they're going to be in the picture pretty much for the rest of their life there's nothing you could do about that right that kind of uh, thing for some of you let's see What's going to happen? What's going to happen? This is future energy. What's going to happen? What's going to happen here? What's going to happen? We have the hair phone. This is Taurus. This is marriage, this is relationships. What is right, what is wrong? Let's see, let's clarify this hair font. True. Strong beliefs, right? Also, there is, the, the hair font represents a systematic approach, right? It's like there is a, a way of doing things here by the book, right? The hair font. And then we have this two of pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is a transition period. Feeling overwhelmed. What I'm getting here from this Two of Pentacles and this hair font is like... Uh, what I'm hearing is like... Uh, like being married to two people, right? But, if, you know, being married to two people, right? In some way. Having a uh, responsibility here. Two of Pentacles, let's see. Let's play by this Two of Pentacles. 
two of pentacles here we go we have the knight of rods aries leo sagittarius there could be a fire sign of significance so the knight of rods is inconsistent they're in and they're out that's because the knight of rods is motivated by their desires right that's why they're so you can rely on the knight of rods one moment they're paying attention to one thing and well something else catches their attention the next day and they're off right into the horizon so i feel that uh the future is instability two of pentacles is someone there's that's trying to stay grounded right they have a whole lot on their plate and they're trying to balance these things out. And the Knight of Rods is incons inconsistent, right? So again, uh, a marriage, a relationship on the rocks. We have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is moving on, represents travel as well, moving on, accepting. It's not easy to move on here from the Six of Swords, it's very difficult. That person on the boat is mourning. Nine of Pentacles. Now, the other scenario that I'm getting for others of you is that uh, you... There's a third party right here. You are very much, well, I'm not going to say you because you know, there's, there's two sides here. So the other scenario that I'm getting here is that third person, the, there is a, a baby being born here, right? But uh, you are involved with a man, for example, whose wife is about to give birth right she's been pregnant and uh this is very painful for for you right three of swords nine of swords and uh well this is because you have feelings for this person we have the two of cups here and uh well once this empress right this sun which by the way the sun card also represents the child especially so next to the empress and uh well it's going to be very hard for this person right to keep this going we have the hair font marriage commitment responsibilities and uh, well they're going to have their hands full for many of you you're not going to this person, if they were inconsistent before, they're not going to be around all that much. That is why we have the Hermit. It's like, wait, where are they? Six of Swords. This is a person that leaves an environment, a situation, a relationship, whatever the case. But it's painful for them to do that. So they don't really want to go. But their present circumstances require them to do so. So kind of like what I was just saying here. Six of Swords. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is the single independent person, right? Single independent person. They're alone. They don't have anyone. They take care of themselves. For many of you, there is a person here, right? Like that. Like all the company they have is that little bird, right? On their uh, shoulder here. Advice, advice. 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 And you see how this boat is leaving this person? And this person is being left alone? But it's like this person is well taken care of, right? It's not like leaving for good, right? If it was for good, you would see like uh, the Five of Pentacles, right? Which shows, for example, a homeless person that you could you could tell, right? They're doing they're doing terrible. 
So again, this gives you the sense of like this person is is well taken care of. So still, right? Something still remains here of value. Nine of Pentacles. Kind of like, um, you know, and it still happens today, but uh, you know, in movies, like the mistress is very well taken care of, uh, right? Lives in a house somewhere, often to, in the mountains, right? You don't know if she exists, but she's there and she's well taken care of and she's been so for years, right? But the uh, thing is, the payment here, right, is, well, being alone. Let's see. We have the Ten of Swords represents an ending this is advice Aquarius advice ten of swords a difficult truth to swallow this ten of swords represents an ending and a new beginning it's a, it's, a, it's a ten it's completion we have the King of Pentacles. For many, there is the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here of significance, right? And feeling could be uh, betrayed, hurt, devastated again. The King of Pentacles is very responsible, this King of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is unfulfilled, unsatisfied, unhappy, right, with what you've got. So the advice here is uh, one, accepting, processing that uh, there has been an ending something right is over S certain situation whatever the case circumstances it's no longer that way ten of swords for some of you Taurus Virgo Capricorn here of significance I'm going to clarify this King of Pentacles, but the feeling that I'm getting here is like something still remains. Four of Cups, but not being happy with that. And the King of Pentacles, it represents wealth, security. So again, still having a little something, holding on to that, but uh, it's not enough. This is telling you. That is not going to bring you happiness. For others of you, there is the truth hurts here. And this is saying, well, this has come to an end. Don't focus on all the negative aspects of what is going on now. This Four of Cups is a person that does that. They don't see all the opportunities that are around them and that's why we have this nine of pentacles remember that's what i said this person is in a very good position for many of you knowing right that you are at a very good place you are this king of pentacles for many of you which holds a great position but there's a need to be enlightened here, to see things for what they are. This Ten of Swords, someone could avoid that, right? Because it's difficult to go through this Ten of Swords. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles. We have Justice. This is Libra. Favorable circumstances. Again, being in a very good position to move forward, to leave this behind. Final verdict as well. Let's see. The Ten of Swords. This is advice. We have the Wheel of Fortune. 
changes uncontrollable right time in here right like well the time has run out the will of fortune is here this is destiny four of cups This was the way it was going to be. It always was. Four of Cups. We have the High Priestess. This is Cancer. This is Taurus. For many of you, trusting your intuition, moving on. That is the High Priestess. It's the divine. Again, it was destined to be this way. There's a need here to move on, roll right with the changes. Justice, the will of fortune, the high priestess. There is something else here. You just have to look on the bright side. That is what I have, Aquarius, for your love reading. That's what came out. If you like and resonate with this reading, please do like and subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Bye Aquarius.